Nowadays, Matthew Broderick's name pops up in the news mostly in connection with his wife, Sarah Jessica Parker, everyone's favorite Carrie from Sex and the City. No idea, I never think of it. Broderick does seem to be okay with his wife being more popular on the global scale. But at the beginning of his career, Broderick seemed to be destined to become a household name. A lot was happening with him at the time. By a lot, we also mean something really tragic that changed the actor forever. Before we continue, subscribe to Rumors Juice for unknown celebrity stories every day. You're still here? Do you have anything better to do? Matthew Broderick was just 24 when the hit teen comedy Ferris Bueller's Day Off was released. The movie became one of the top grossing films of the year, and a young man who played the lead role instantly became everyone's crush. Broderick and Jennifer Grey, who portrayed his sister in the film, started dating in secrecy. The Hollywood romance, however, was disclosed under tragic circumstances. The couple traveled to Northern Ireland for a romantic trip, for which Matthew rented a car. While driving a car with Jennifer inside of it, he crossed into the wrong lane and collided head-on with a Volvo, driven by a 63-year-old woman and her 28-year-old daughter. The two women were killed instantly, while Broderick and Gray suffered injuries. As a member of the local fire brigade dragged Broderick away, he reportedly kept asking, did I hurt them? Did I hurt them? Over and over. It's not uncommon for celebrity car accidents to involve alcohol or drugs, but Broderick wasn't under the influence of either. Following the accident, the actor was charged with causing death by dangerous driving and faced up to five years in jail. He was later convicted for careless driving and fined $175. Yes, you heard that right. The verdict outraged locals and the woman's family that called it a travesty of justice. Matthew kept saying he could not remember anything from that day. What I first remember is waking up in the hospital with a very strange feeling going on in my leg. The actor spent four weeks in the hospital, having suffered a broken leg, a concussion, and lacerations. Gray received minor scratches. Gray would later reveal it took her decades to recover from the survivor's guilt. Broderick also admitted to Britain's Best magazine in the early 2000s that it was extremely difficult coming to grips with what happened, but eventually therapy helped. Fifteen years after the tragic accident, Broderick was set to meet with the relatives of the deceased women in 2002. Until that point, the actor had not contacted the family with more than a note saying how sorry he was. A spokesman for Broderick told The Post, Matthew is willing to meet up with them. There is no ill will, not any sort of anger. The family is seeking some sort of closure. The story goes, this meeting never happened. But Martin Doherty, who lost his mom and his sister, said many years later, he didn't kill my mother and sister deliberately. There were strong feelings at the time, but I've since forgiven him and feel no anger toward him. Interestingly, in 2012, Broderick appeared in a Super Bowl commercial for Honda, for which both the actor and the company were highly criticized, minding the 1987 fatal car crash. Mr. Doherty said, however, I suppose it wasn't the greatest choice of drivers knowing his past. I suppose at the end of the day, it was years ago. I have forgiven what he had done. I mentioned that at the time. In around October 1988, Broderick and Gray broke up, and nearly 10 years later, Broderick married Sarah Jessica Parker. The couple now have three children. I like him a lot. <laughs> I like him. I'm, I'm actually, I'm really fond of him. It would be totally unfair to say Broderick has been off the radar since the accident. He has been in an uncountable number of films and Broadway shows and voiceover projects. But it would be fair to say that Ferris Bueller still remains his most iconic role. It's hard to say whether the tragedy affected his career, but it definitely changed him as a person who is fighting to overcome the feeling of guilt. Today, we know 57-year-old Matthew Broderick not only as a renowned award-winning actor, but also as a great family man. It has been recently announced that Broderick and Parker are set to work together on Broadway, starring in a limited run of Neil Simon's Plaza Suite. The Sex and the City actress has admitted that it is strange for her to collaborate with her husband, as she knows him better as a person than an actor. Broderick confirms, saying, That's going to be hard. We very rarely both work at the same time. We're sure the spouses will figure out the best way to deal with their work and family schedules. And we hope this new production will be a new milestone and a new iconic role for Matthew Broderick. That's all for today. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we have many more unknown stories for you. You're still here? Do you have anything better to do?